What is up my little legends and welcome to Home Safety Hotline. This is a dispatch horror game. It honestly sounds really, really unique. So I thought it would be a really fun one to play for the channel. We play as a dispatch. So essentially that's all you kind of need to know, but it's not really a typical dispatch. We send out issues. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But anyways, I don't know how to play. This is um, our computer. So we've got home safety hotline demo. So it is just a demo that we're playing. Television, credits, wish list on Steam. Okay, I see. So we're going to boot up the game. Within the game. Oh my gosh, so meta. Day one. Ooh, it's like a day cycle then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, oh, welcome employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Clock in. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, it's taking a while. <laughs> it's loading forever. All right, oh gosh, my cat. <laughs> Her little tail. All right, so we're in. Uh, entry, info screen, no entry selected. No current callers. All right, what do we have? So these are entries. We've got bees, the bees, not the bees. Audio sample. That's bees, all right. Now we get to listen to the bees while we answer this phone. Hello? Sorry. You have to speak up. Oh, okay. Welcome to Home Safety the bees Hotline, stopped. new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. HSH? Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Ooh. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. She described what we are. So we are like a dispatch, but... We do household hazards. So we've got bees, bumblebees. Bees are small flying insects known to build large hive structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. Homeowners infested with bees sometimes report buzzing stings or frequent bee sightings. So then we got the danger of the stings and the solution. Bee stings, in addition to being painful, can lead to injury or even death in cases where members of the home have an allergic reaction to bee stings. Bees can also, oh my gosh, another thing, attract the attention of larger, more dangerous pests. Ooh. Answer. Hello. Hello. Oh. John. John. Here. My wife is John here. Infested. I call this number. Okay, well, Jen here. You know, like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Bees? My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. Don't I sound know. like the you bees. Tell me, I guess. You tell me, I guess. <clears throat> Please hold. Please hold. Said it for me. Root. Specks of dirt. Okay. <gasps> Mold. Ew. Uh, okay, this is such a, so gross. I had a water cooler and the water started tasting funny. And I think it was moldy and I threw it out because I was scared. So mold is a common household fungus known to grow in moist, warm locations. It appears frequently as small black spots. However, homeowners or homeowners with black mold infestations frequently report a musty smell, allergic reactions, or breathing problems. No dirt though, so we're not gonna continue that. No oh, ants. Ants could possibly leave dirt, right? Carpenter ants are small insects known for nesting inside of wood. Homeowners infested with these pests report a faint rustling sound coming from the walls as the ants build their nest. I was thinking like the dirt cut like from their digging, but no, I guess not. So we have a bunch of um, not accessible entries. It looks like it's alphabetical. We got cockroaches as well. Uh, they're small insects known to be common household pests. Homeowners with cockroach infestations commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Oh, you guys got cockroaches. Well, should I... I'll read the next few just so that we know for sure. But it does sound like it's cockroaches. So there's also gophers though. Oh, that's a lot of dirt. 
description. Gophers are small brown furry mammals with a large front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Not in the house though. House flies! The bane of my existence. I don't like house flies. They are small flying creatures that are known to commonly reside inside homes. So homeowners afflicted with house flies commonly report buzzing sounds and sights of droppings that appear similar to specks of pepper. House spider. Mm -mm. It's a small eight-legged creature that commonly nests near or inside homes. They are known for building sticky thread-like webs to trap small flies or other insects, which they use for food. Homeowners commonly report web sightings. So it's not you. I mean, we already know pretty much which one it is, but... We have mice. Mice are small rodents commonly found in the household. Homeowners with mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. Then we have mole. Oh, it's so cute! It's like, ooh. Uh, mice. What? <laughs> that says mice! <laughs> mice are small, dark brown furry mammals with pointed pink muzzles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano shaped mounds and they are known to eat insects. Mole mice! Oh my gosh, the scariest type of moles. <laughs> I have termites as well. I think that that is an accidental. <laughs> termites. Termites are small. It could be termites though. Uh, small insects known for consuming decaying plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners with termites infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. No, it's not that. Well, we got ticks as the last one. Ooh, creepy. Oh, ticks freak me out. Ticks are very small arachnids known to feed on human or animal blood and spread... <clears throat> oh my god, I'm dying. And spread deadly disease. It's the ticks. They latch onto their hosts, often unseen, and burrow their heads into the flesh of their victims. I actually know that <laughs> from my work, <laughs> frequently enough. Hosts will often report symptoms of illness, such as fevers, headaches, and chills. I guess I should expand on that. We, I work in a vet clinic, <laughs> and sometimes people bring their dogs in because they're like, I think I, I have a tick on my dog. More like, maybe. Let me look. Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't, you know? Anyways, I thought it was what? Cockroaches? That's what I thought it was, right? Similar to coffee grounds. So I'm pretty positive then it's you. You don't have a noise. I wanted to play the noise. Okay, submit answer. It is, <laughs> you got roaches, my dude. Submit that took a long time for me to submit that, but I wanted to read them all. So info successfully sent to client. Good job. Okay, sweet. I was like, please hold and then put them on hold for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have read them all now. It's too late. <laughs> so how's your day going? <laughs> oh, thank God. Incoming call answer. <laughs> Hello. Hank here. Last week I called so. you guys about some crap in my yard. Ew. Okay. Well, guess what? There's more <gasps> piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Hey, tell me what it is so I can chill. take care of it once and for all. <gasps> Wait a second. Piles of brown. Huge piles of brown out there. Please hold. I think you've got... You got moles, my dude. I think you got moles. Because volcano-shaped mounds, I think, I think you got moles. I don't think it's poop. Don't think it's poop. I think you got the moles. Where was it gophers? <laughs> I don't, okay. There wasn't any though. I do think it is moles. There wasn't any others though that were like leaving big piles of um, grossness. No, it's definitely, it's the moles. It's the moles. Submit my answer, the mole people. <laughs> mole. Submit. I'm guessing. Well, this is supposed to be a horror game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I was going to say, we, we don't have very much. So I was thinking, is this all we have access to in the, in the demo? But then nothing creepy can happen. You know? That's okay, though. Oh. Termites are creepy, too. Ah! Error. Forbidden action. Action? What? <laughs> Wait, action? No, I said that right. Why does it sound so weird? Insufficient privileges. Okay. Answer. HSH headquarters, how can I help you? It's the bees!
Oh no, uh, he really made those bees angry. He hung up on me. <laughs> bees. <laughs> I think you have bees, my friend. That's what it sounded like to me. But you know what? That's okay. Bee sting. Yeah, we did read that. Solution to remove bees from a household. One must first locate the hive. Once found, do not attempt to remove the hive. He did that. He tried to do it by hand. But uh, until the bees are put to sleep or killed, it's strongly advised to utilize H H S H pest removal services. H S H pest removal services. How can Hi, I help you? I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing. But I thought I'd call. Just it's probably nothing. You're right. <laughs> just kidding. Lately, I okay. can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it An annoying sound in the like attic. E e e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. E I'm e sure e it could e just e be e regular old house noises, but. I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Is that, is that what I sounded like when I had to phone phone the mechanic and tell them what was wrong with my car? They were like, what's your car doing? And I was like, it's doing like a... <laughs> I don't know what I did. It was making a weird noise, though. Put on Please hold. hold. Please hold. Okay, they're making ee -E -E little noises. I feel like you've got mice. I think you got mice. But we do have audio sample I think she got mices okay I'm gonna submit it we already read them all so we don't need to go through we got you got mices me lady sending info to client successfully sent good job it's kind of cute you know look at this little bleedy black bleedy what beady black soulless eye super cute though Common removal methods for mites include the use of pesticides, the introduction of a house cat, that's why I have a cat, no, I don't know, <laughs> to the household, and various kinds of bait traps. They can provide a fish effective for small populations. Large mice infestations should be dealt with using HSH pest removal services. I don't know if my cat would be a good mouser. <laughs> She's an indoor kitty. Answer. Connecting caller. All right. Hey, here. I got what? these snappers itching and snappers? all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whipper snappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about I have... this? What you Talk gonna about do about 5,500 times and y'all have two thoughts. thing about it. Two thoughts. First thought, you sound like Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Second thought, is this part of the Mandela Catalog universe? Because look at his creepy face. The way he's talking is like not human-like, which makes me think that it's like a Mandela Catalog sort of situation. Oh, that's freaky deaky. Close. Oh, he left. I don't know what you have... You got them little whippersnappers. I don't have whippersnappers on here. Oh. <clears throat> HSH customer service. Hey, do How can I help you? Do you guys have service or something? I like don't. Like nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My okay. kid is complaining about being <laughs> too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid I'll look for something, something that does that noise. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? I no. <laughs> hold. Stop! I don't have anything for you, sir. Uh, <laughs> what can eat the grass? The gophers? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Gophers are capable of biting humans, spreading deadly disease such as rabies, so caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. To evict gophers from the burrows, a variety of nature, natural deterrents can be placed around your property. Growing plants that repel gophers such as sage or thyme can also serve to persuade gophers to get away from your property. For more persistent infestations, um, it is advised to utilize HSH pest removal services. So gopher situation might not be useful. I don't really know what to do about this guy. Like, I guess I can just read through and see what their recommendation for a solution is so that then they know. So, ants, um, common pesticides will kill ants. 
Though, due to how fast they breed, it's highly recommended to locate their nest first. It is advised to use HSH pest removal services. So it's not that. I don't think it's the cockroaches. No. No, it's not them. I'm not honestly 100% sure. I it could... <laughs> should I send them out something about gophers? I don't know. Because gophers recommend growing plants, so that doesn't help. Could be a mole situation too, though. Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can never be trapped and removed manually. Oh, they can be. Using a variety of common human humane mammal traps. Warning, never kill a mole. One can utilize... Warning, never kill a mole. What does that mean? Oh, freaky deaky out. Oh no, they can spread rabies. Aw, moles, why? Okay. I want to hear a mole. I'm going to say you got moles. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Why did I moles for the other thing? Yeah, so you know what? You got gophers. <laughs> Your son's a gopher. <laughs> I don't know. That one made me angry. I'm not here for you. I spent too much time on that stupid call. <laughs> now I am angry. HSH Pesticidal Company, how can I help you? Hello, it's Carol again. Uh, hello, Carol. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard Ooh. information. Like a lawnmower? <laughs> and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Don't if you be sharing my video on this one information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, I don't know why I mocked her. That was rude. She's my boss. No, what if she watches my video? Permissions have been updated. New entries now available. <gasps> Bats. Batman. Bats are a general term for a variety of species of nocturnal flying mammals. Bats can be identified by their usual large ears, wings, and dark fur. Bats most commonly find their way inside a home during their hibernation periods before winter. Homeowners with a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night and sightings of small, dry pellet droppings. All right. HSH pest peoples. Security. I need home security installed. Security. Oh. Bob! No! Freaking Bob! Bob's going into your house and organizing your things. Please mm -hmm. hold. Please hold, sir. Okay, well, I don't think it's bats. <laughs> Carbon monoxide? No! Whoa! It's carbon monoxide seal is an invisible and odorless poisonous gas that produced whenever fossil fuel is burned. CO buildup can be caused by poorly installed or maintained stove and water heater appliances or a result of poor ventilation. Homeowners affected by CO poisoning will often report headaches, dizziness, or leth lethargy. Ooh, scary. Yeah, it can cause death in humans and pets. With enough exposure, it's deadly serious threat and homeowners should take precaution to prevent its buildup. Scary. What's a hob? Common hob. Oh, what the heck? What are you? Okay. Common hobs are the most common species of the hob. There's more of them. No, in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. No false face? What does that mean? They are known for the tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. They organization skills. So we got desk hob as well. I was like, could be a hob. But I was like, these hobs, they clean, but they don't organize. So it could be a desk hob. Let's see. Look at it! It's got look at its little hair. Desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They re regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They are physically similar to the hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. So they'll frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. But this one, 
going through his papers. It could be a desk hob. I think it actually is. To tidy their homes. Yeah, okay. We have a feast. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Feasts are mid to large side piles of various edible food substance. <laughs> what is that? Mayonnaise? Frequently including flour. Oh, it's flour, cornmeal, and various spices of fungi. Ew! They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I should read the danger of them all, too. A false beat. Well, that's not terrifying. False beads are creatures with beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among vegetables. What the heck? Oh, I want to read all the dangers and stuff too, but it's like there's so much in this game. We have frozen pipes as well. They're a common household hazard during cold season, characterized by their water inside pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling coming from the pipes or leakage. Interesting. House fires. Oh, yeah. Are rapid combustion reactions that can occur inside a home. They are often caused by accident when cooking or when open flames such as candles fall into flammable materials. Homeowners affected by house fires commonly report the smell of burning. Oh, lamp sprite? Oh, look at it. It's like, uh, yeah, so cute. Lamp sprites are a common subspecies of sprites. We have other types of sprites, but not yet. That make their home inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter. Sometimes causing a burning smell in their home. Okay, not that. A stair slug? What? Ew! <laughs> stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basement. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on the steps or other household inclines. Oh my gosh, that is actually horrible. Wood secretions? What does that mean? It's pink goo. Wood secretions are a pink, viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. Aww. It's known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky, pooling buildup. Well, my dude, you have got a desk hob. <laughs> so danger. Desk hobs are not dangerous to humans. If left unprovoked, like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. Oh. Solution. Desk cobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further damage, measure to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. So you're stuck with them. Forever. Okay. You have got a desk hob. Desky, desky, desky hob. Where is it? <laughs> it should be up here. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, desk hop. Submit. Sending info to client. Yeah. Nice! We did it! Cool. Uh look at them all. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't have any others to read right now. I figure we can read the danger and the solution when we actually, like, report. You know? Because there's a lot to read. I guess I could read something now, though. Which one should we read? The common hop, how to get rid of? Uh, danger. Hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they're capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Yeah, the metamorphosis, hey? Spooky. HSH headquarters, how can I help you? Ugh. Ew. Sorry, I'm a... Ugh. Uh, calling to see if you might oh my know gosh. about anything I can do to... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get a tissue. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from pollen. coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. I don't think something's Please getting hold. in. At first, my thought was carbon monoxide. However, he might have mold. Didn't mold say something about, like allergies allergic reactions and breathing problems yeah i think you have black mold black mold is not immediately dangerous to humans but enough of it can cause damage to household integrity making it a long-term danger it is known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems 
solution black mold can be removed with regular cleaning supplies and maintenance and can be prevented with good ventilation in high moisture areas of the home for more serious black mold infestations it is advised to utilize hsh's fungal cleanup services okay i think he has black mold so i'm going to submit that i don't remember reading anything else that caused like an allergic type of reaction so where was i i was reading about the regular hob how to get rid of him hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home instead one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of ice cream or milk at night oh of cream <laughs> not ice cream well it would turn into cream eventually so hmm, is that how that works <laughs> hsh headquarters such a thing as house saves that clean like maybe to disguise the robbery <laughs> Oh, night, I, keep hearing I do. All this noise coming from my living room, but well, well, well. I look at it, I find the place spotless. Uh, having <laughs> I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. Mm -hmm. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Well, there sure is, milady. They, you, <laughs> you have a common hob. Let us sound, <laughs> sound it. What? Let us hear what that sounds like. That's kind of freaky. I think you have one though. You've got a common hob. Submit. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <sighs> a feast. Does feast have a noise? No, it doesn't. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more serious activity or else it its continued presence can attract other household pets, pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. I was losing my breath. Answer. HSH. Hey, this guy. Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. I don't oh, have anything for the lawn care. Well, all I said was you had moles. Okay, well, Tim, maybe you should mow your own lawn or hire a kid to do it or something. Rude! These are a sign of a hospital presence, and such should be consumed immediately once sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum assured safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. That is really, really bizarre really bizarre so i messed up on one of them i'm assuming is that why i have these long pauses sometimes is because it'd be like people calling and being like hey this isn't what i wanted and i'd be like oh i don't know first day <laughs> who dis answer hsh headquarters hey, yeah, name's fred pinball i'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business whatever. i have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control I haven't even helped you. Twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, I ain't putting up with it no more. Okay. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by sawdust? the over and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. That was freaky. I want to read about the beets. <laughs> False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach, feeding off of its nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause di digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of a human's life. Oh no. That's really creepy. I don't like that. Solution. False beets often find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to be contended with false beets, it is advised to be growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Oh. HSH. Pest control. Hello, employee. Supervisor Hello. Carol here. Letting you Hi, know Carol. your trial employment period here has ended. Oh. Please remember that all you have seen here is strictly confidential. Mom's the word. Do not tell anyone what you have learned here today. I won't. We hope to work with you again soon. Okay. No, I wanted to read them more. What is this? What's happening? You are on. Uh, you're a phone operator. Hi. 
I'm concerned about the stability of my new home. You know, that's fair. I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing. Okay. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. Satan worshippers in the shed? Ooh. Ooh. Please hold. Please hold. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's just what happens. Wishlist now. That is super cool. What a neat concept for a game. I haven't really seen anything too similar to this. That is super duper cool. I'm guessing to television commercial is the video we just watched. And then, of course, there's the credits as well. So that is super duper awesome that was a really really cool game wow thank you very much for watching i just noticed here it is 1996 interesting so it's not it's not current at all username all right cool well once again thank you so much for watching this was honestly such a neat game the concept is really cool and i definitely would be interested when it comes out to play the rest on my channel because it was a very very cool little short horror demo anyways thank you so so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it as well if you did definitely feel free to subscribe to become a little legend today and i shall see you in another video all right peace <laughs>